how do you decide which platforms, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, are best for each type of content? Um, I, most of what I do is is made for one of those platforms. So like it's actually created from the beginning to be exactly what it's supposed to be. Um, YouTube tends to be a little bit more long form, have a little bit more of a plot. There's a point to it because I'm starting to do a lot of gear reviews, uh, doing some interviews, doing some unboxing, talking about different kinds of software. So there's usually kind of an, an order to it. That seems to work a little bit better on YouTube. For TikTok and Instagram, there's a, there's a little bit of an overlap, um, but TikTok tends to be a little bit faster pace, uh, a little bit funnier. Instagram can be used the same way, but you're also going to see a lot more cat videos, which you certainly see on TikTok, but you see a little bit more of the fluff on Instagram. That's also because Instagram has been around for longer. How do you decide? Yeah, I mean, it really depends on what you're doing. And if you're trying to, if you're trying to, if you have got a new niche, it's something that you're breaking into, I would definitely say TikTok because if, if, there isn't on Instagram, it's it'd be difficult to come up with something new that nobody else is doing. On TikTok, there's still a little bit of space right now that it's been around for a few years, but there's still some space for you to get in, get some new people listening. Um, so yeah. Yeah, but I mean they're 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 similar and different all at the same time, which is kind of how that is kind of how that plays out. All right. So what is the next one what's the what's the last what's the last new thing you've learned or new skill you've pursued um lovely that is a question that i ask people when i interview them and i so appreciate that being turned back at me okay what is the what is the last new thing um uh, I would say the probably the most recent thing I sort of jumped into a little bit is chat GPT and that whole sort of AI writing element. Uh, I, I'm not hugely fond of that sort of thing in the sense that I do firmly believe that it's going to take a lot of creatives jobs, which I'm not super happy about. Um, but I have been playing around with it a little bit just to have a better idea of what it is, because there's no point in being scared of something if you literally don't know what it is. Um, the the biggest benefits I see of it are things like summarizing and creating bullet points. Um, so if you're able to use it for that, you can ask it to summarize articles, ask it to summarize vid videos. Um, you know, you can type something in and say, hey, uh, put this into a sequence of, you know, eight things on a checklist, that sort of thing. I think it's really helpful for that. It's going to be quite some time before it can write good content at least in my opinion like it's doing that now but it's it feels soulless like you can tell that it's just an algorithm uh, i'm not going to get onto a soapbox i also don't like the fact that it's referred to as ai it's not ai it's generative software it's not thinking it's not intelligent it's just copying other things and spewing information back out um but that's again soapbox i don't need to get onto right now uh, yeah, I would say that's that's the most recent thing I've kind of been dabbling in and out of maybe the last two months or so to see if if one just so I can understand it a little bit better and to see if there's a useful way of having it do some of the grunt work, like I said, bullet pointing something. Um, but yeah, I think I think that's the, the the biggest the biggest use I can see for it right now. Um, how do you handle criticism from others? I'm pretty good at that. I've spent enough years putting out content that when someone makes a comment, especially if it's a negative comment, I don't see that as a, oh no, they hate me. They hate my work. If it's a client, I'm not going to say the client is always right because I don't believe that. But if it's a client and they're paying you, if they say, oh, I would like this blue and not green, I'll say, I'll say I can do that. Um, it might clash a little bit with the blue on the other side, but I, you know, I can certainly make it blue. So, uh, so yeah, in that case, if it's a client, you just have to work with them. And if they like it um, and they're happy with it, then just go with it. For something a little bit more personal, like some of my writing, uh, again, I've done this for enough years, especially it, 
especially in grad school, taking a lot of play um, screenwriting classes in grad school, you put something out, you really put your heart into it and someone, you know, craps all over it and you kind of have to be like, so I, I'm at a point where if I know that the person has the knowledge to make the comment that they're making, I will take that in and go, oh, they really know a lot about structure or character or dialogue. And they're saying this part is confusing. I'm I'm going to take that on board and say, yep, I understand what you're saying. If it's a person that doesn't have a lot of experience and they're just saying, oh, well, I don't like this. And why did that happen? I'll just smile and nod and say, yeah, thank you so much. I'll still take in what they said, but it doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to make any changes with it. Uh, you just can't, you know, it's a whole, you know, kill your darlings type thing. You can't get so emotionally wrapped up in your work to the point that you can't handle criticism because I firmly believe everybody can have creative ideas. If I'm on a film set and the lighting person goes, oh, hey, I think there's a really funny joke that can be added here. I will absolutely listen to what they have to say. I Just because I'm directing something or producing something, I, I do not like being a dictator. I like hearing everybody's opinions. I like making sure you know everything is moving smoothly. And if somebody has a better idea than me, I want to hear it. It's not a shut your mouth, I'm in charge. No, I absolutely want to hear the better ideas. And if, it's, if someone has an idea and it's a crap idea, one of two things will either say, that's interesting is that I don't quite think it'll work maybe for this reason, or I'll say, I don't know if that'll work. You know what? It'll take 15 seconds to test that out. Actors, you want to do it? And it's like, let's just do it. And we'll do it. And 15 seconds later, we'll go, oh, that didn't quite work. Thanks for the idea. Everybody, anybody else have an idea? And then we'll move on. Um, but yeah. Yeah. If you let criticism derail you, you're never going to get anything accomplished.